Hello everyone, I am hopefully starting what will be a reading vlog. I realize that I actually haven't done an official reading vlog since October, but I have a few clips filmed sporadically throughout like the past few weeks, but I'm also reading a few really fantastic books at the moment, or rather I just finished one, um, Vida Nostra, which I will certainly talk about later because I really, really liked it, and I just started The Passion of New Eve by Angela Carter. I'm only like... 15, 20 pages in, but I'm already really, really liking the style and the tone of it. Um, so I'm excited to keep reading that. That was a book that I got for Christmas, and there are a few other ones that I can go through later that I got from my mom. She lovely gifted me, lovingly gifted me a few books. But um, I would love to chat right now, but I think I'm going to chat later and fill you in on what's been going on. Um, but Mark and I are actually about to run out. I need to get like a real winter jacket. I only have like a teddy coat and I need like an actual long puffy winter jacket because it's freezing in New York right now um, and we may just like bounce around go to a few antique stores looking for some art a cool mirror we've been to a few but there were like rich people antique stores <laughs> like it's all vintage but it's like everything is 700 plus dollars so those were not um, for us so we're going to a few places maybe in Brooklyn we're not really sure but it's a Saturday and it was our first full week back at work, five day week since the holidays. So we are feeling rested now and relaxing and trying to enjoy our time. Cause it definitely hits you like a truck when you first start back at work. Um, but I will check in with you later. I need to get a coat cause I'm freezing to death. Um, yes, I will check in later. Bye. Hi guys, we're back. We came back to the apartment very quickly. I tried to get a few clips when we were out and about, but it was so freezing that to take the camera out wasn't really happening, but we bounced around a few stores, but I did get, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it. It goes all the way to the ground, floor length coat. Um, it's not high fashion, but it is keeping me like very warm and I've just, my cheeks are out um, and must bear the cold, but my cheeks are usually red anyway because of just general rosacea. So this is a good purchase and it was 60% off. So my grandma would be proud. Now we are going into the depths of Brooklyn to go to a few breweries. It's Marco's night to pick what we're doing. Last night we went to a wine bar, so it's his turn. But it should be fun. I'm gonna bundle up and we are going to get going. Oops, okay, bye. So I didn't film anything yesterday 
We really had like the laziest of days, which was amazing. The only time we left the apartment was to do like our Trader Joe's run. Um, actually, we did run out again at night. It was snowing, like just flurries, and it was beautiful. And in the city, you have to run out while it's currently snowy because, you know, it becomes sludge and gray very quickly. So we ran out after dinner and got some ice cream from Target. Um, oh yeah, and we made such a good dinner. I feel like we are finding the balance between um, saving money and being smart, but then also we're in such an um, amazing food area and there's so many great restaurants and drinks and bars, so we're finding the balance there. So during the work week, we don't go out at all, no takeout, nothing like that. And then during the over the weekend, we'll go out and we'll try some places, especially new restaurants. We're both foodies, Marco especially, but I'm very grateful that I live with somebody who loves to cook and is really great at it. So yesterday we did um, homemade steamed dumplings and they were mushroom, tofu, garlic, no, ginger, bok choy, and I actually did take some clips because it was, and I my little job was just to make them after Marco made the filling, um, but they were so good. So that's kind of our balance, but I will insert some clips. Good. <laughs> what was the what was the hand gesture? <laughs> but as we're exploring in new areas and new food places, Marco and I, more specifically Marco, he's really taking charge of it. We made like a food Instagram account called Tipsy Taste and just like taking great pictures of really good food. We do talk about the captions, but if you decide to follow Tipsy Taste, if you're interested in New York City food spots, sometimes he goes rogue on the captions, so I don't take responsibility if they're incredibly cringy. But what else has been going on? Um, oh yeah, it's been, you know, we've had a new year since the last time I've properly talked to you all. It's so happy 2022, if that's something that like you care about. Um, I do set resolutions like for myself, but not in a high pressure situation. I know some people like really don't like setting New Year's resolutions. My sister specifically is adamantly anti-resolution because it's just like pressure to her. Um, so the loving sister that I am, I usually gift her resolutions that I think she can work on in each year, which she loves. Only a sister can do that. Um, my main resolutions for this year, one, to like be smart, save money, um, and two, be social. I have like really, I am an introvert to the extreme, and the past, I would say, four, four-ish years, I really like have not been social, and I'm trying to put myself out there, because when I do go out, I have such a good time, it's just not my instinct to go out or reach out to people. Um, but I want to get better with that. I want to like make connections this year, make new friendships, put myself in situations where I might be more comfortable staying at home, but then I wind up having a great time. So that's my main resolution. Um, but yes, I did join the gym, which is interesting. I have, since like before the pandemic, I was working out at home just like with my little dumbbells and my little like workout videos. I do Sydney Cummings on YouTube and I love her. I think she's amazing. She's like really, really strong and I love, you know, lifting weights with her videos because she gives me instruction. But I don't have my weights here obviously, so I joined a gym, which I'm like super grateful that I have a gym so close by that I can go to. Um, with that said, it is definitely intimidating for me. I have gone on multiple occasions and like done a lap and walked right home because I just, people claim their space, which is great in a gym, they claim their space, they know what they're doing, they have their routine, but walking into somebody who hasn't been to a actual gym in many, many years, 
I just like was so overwhelmed and I was just standing there awkwardly and I didn't know what to do and I like you know lifting weights is my preferred exercise and majority of the time it's all men in the weight area unmasked men none of them I would say 95% of them do not wear a mask no matter what even though people like upstairs like sweating and like um, panting really heavily on cardio machines you know they're wearing masks but so that's frustrating and I just but the past few times I've stood my ground I like you know had my like deer in headlights face for a few minutes and then I like found a little spot in the corner and I did my thing because I'm confident and I know what I'm doing in terms of working out but I'm not confident in this new space where everyone it's just it's new for me but I will get used to it I'm sure um, but if you just care about the books let's talk about books I the book I most recently finished Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Duchenko. So a dynamic duo wrote this book and I really, really enjoyed it. So we are following a young woman, she's a yeah, girl, she's 17, her name is Sasha. And at the start of the book, she's on a beach vacation with her mom and she gets approached by this strange and slightly scary man and they have this interaction and he very, quickly and easily manipulate Sasha and we follow the progression of that throughout the book and she winds up going to a university where the weirdness and manipulation intensifies times a hundred and she's not really sure what she's doing there, why she's there, what the point of it is, she doesn't understand her classes or why her professors are so um, interested in her and it really becomes like the darkest of academia but with like some fantasy magical realism elements which generally sounds like something I would enjoy but I think the best parts of this book it could have gone it's kind of quiet even though a lot is happening but the tone of the book is kind of removed and it's a it's a pretty long book for what it is and we follow Sasha progressively throughout each year at school so sometimes it feels really slow but still a lot is happening and it's kind of surreal but more so like disorienting we're disoriented with Sasha which is just a really fun way to read the book and because it's so long and sometimes quiet and slow we're kind of sinking into Sasha's world with her and kind of like succumbing to the same manipulations that she might but I really enjoyed it and at so many points this book could have taken you know 10 plus different paths and gone a different direction and I enjoyed every single twist and where it went and I didn't always get what was happening but if you um, are familiar with my channel that doesn't usually bother me <laughs> as long as I'm enjoying it I don't always need to get it um, but there was enough to like grasp on to and it was definitely like plot and character development and the whole thing so I really enjoyed this one um, and then the book so I'm also reading um, The Passion of New Eve by Angela Carter which happens to be one of the greatest covers I've ever seen. Definitely a favorite. Um, and I am... Yesterday I read a lot. I'm over a hundred pages in now and it's quite a slim book. I'm not quite sure how to speak about it yet. I am loving it beyond measure. Like seriously, it is blowing my mind. It's jam-packed with ideas in such a small, like tightly wound book. It has so many things going on, really exploring American society in the, this dystopian, again, surrealist kind of way. Um, it's exploring gender and identity. It's amazing, but I'm not quite sure how to speak about it yet, so I will get back to you on this one. But it's one of the best written novels I've come across in a long time. So what a way to start the new year. I am obsessed with it. Um, so this was one of the books I got for Christmas. I said I would go through them. Um, I also, my mom also gave me I Love You But I've Chosen Darkness by Claire Vey Watkins, which was my first read of the year. I read this one on CJ's recommendation. It was on CJ's top 10 of the year, and I really enjoyed it. We're following um, a woman. She's a writer and a teacher and a mother, and she's reckoning with her past and her parents and the legacy they left her. Um, her mother suffered from addiction. Her whole childhood and her father was a part of the Manson family and he his job is to like corral young women and bring them into the fold and she's reckoning between 
like her memory, she's almost having like memory whiplash, returning to the place where she grew up um, in the desert, and she's trying to find the middle ground of her parents as people versus her parents as caregivers. Um, but it's lusty and traumatic and hot, and I really enjoyed it. There's a lot to unpack in this book, but I can talk about it more in my wrap up. And then the other book, the last book that I got for Christmas that I haven't read yet, but that I'm very excited to read, is the next Tana French in the Dublin Murder Squad series, a uh, faithful, faithful place. So I, you know, I'm not familiar what this is about, but, you know, I started Tana French's Dublin Murder Squad series last year and really, really liked the first two books in the series, which I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about in the woods, and I was absolutely obsessed with it, and I really enjoyed the second book too, so very excited about this. But that's all I have for you today. I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop to use somebody else's heat <laughs> and sit there for a few hours and edit this and hopefully upload it today. Um, and I have some errands to do. Unfortunately, I don't have any apartment updates for you guys. You saw that we got um, some plants and some greenery and then we have some like new bins, like organizational things that nobody cares about um, just to make our closets a little more organized. But in terms of decor, we've made no progress. We've been to a lot of different places. I've looked online. I've looked on like Society6 and Etsy, but it's hard when I don't know specifically, like I know what I like when I see it, but I don't always know what to search on Etsy, especially like a platform like that that has so many different options um, from different creators and sellers. So I'm not sure if you have any recommendations where you have ordered art before or I'm, I think I would like some prints, but I really love the idea of having like paintings in the um, apartment and I think we might blow up some of our travel pictures. I actually made a little, um, I am somebody who grew up scrapbooking and making photo albums and I made, I printed all our pictures from our Germany trip and put them in this little album. Um, but we might blow up some of the more scenic ones and have them as art because that's easy and that's nice memories and some, um, a few of our other trips. But I'm not sure. I'm looking for some paintings. So if you have any recommendations, that would be very appreciated. But yeah, we've made no progress. It's kind of, you know, once you're in the place and, you know, we're back to work and we're in our day-to-day -day routine, I'm not necessarily thinking about it. But then on the weekends, I'm like, oh, I wish I had some color in the apartment. So if you have recommendation, I am all ears. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope to do more vlogs this year, more reading vlogs, or just more like chatty sit-down videos about recent reads. Um, but I hope you enjoyed your new year, your holiday season, whatever that looked like this year. I hope you were able to be with friends and, or family. Um, yeah. But thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any resolutions, bookish or other. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Which should be my December wrap-up. I don't know if I... I mean, I want to film that because it will bother me if I don't have a full year completed. <laughs> um, but yes. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye, guys.